welcome to my channel. My name is Nita and this is Audrey's Southern Cooking. If you've not been to my channel before, welcome, I'm so excited you came. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited. I'm so excited you came back. So, what are we gonna do today? Today, this is my Memo Ray's this is a vanilla cake or a white cake with homemade chocolate icing. All this is made from scratch, but it's chocolate icing that gets hard. So I want to apologize. It's not very pretty because with this icing, it can be, I needed a bigger plate for one. Um, for two, when it gets, I needed to let it cool a little bit more before I started pouring it. So I apologize. It's not very pretty. But you know what? It's gonna be delicious. So, without further ado, let's look at the cake. So I put it on a cake pan. This is an old cake pan, but I do have it on a plate. Though, like I said, it's, you can see where it's dripped down. But look at that. That's gonna be so good. All right, let's lower it down. Look at that beautiful cake. I know the icing's not that pretty and it is quite heavy because this chocolate is quite heavy and the plate is also heavy. All right, so let's see what's next on how to make this cake. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna do my Mamaw Ray's um, chocolate icing. So what we're gonna do is make her vanilla cake. It's just a made from scratch cake and then we're gonna make her chocolate icing and it gets hard on the top. Oh, that's so good. I'm a, um, she used to have to put some in a little saucer just for my brother. I'm gonna put his picture in the video as well because I talk about him a lot. So this is one of his favorites too. All right, let's look at our ingredients. All right, so I have, and I do apologize, I only have this one big pan, so I'm gonna make a one big thick layer and cut it in half. I just have to cook it a little bit longer than normal. But I have self-rising flour, milk, I have sugar, I'm letting my butter get a little room temperature, I have two eggs, um, I said the vanilla, sweet tea, I didn't put ice in it today, I was out of ice actually, so I have some in the freezer now. But I always have, your iced tea, especially when it gets hot during the summer, like it is right now. All right, well, let's get to mixing. My sister has let me borrow her KitchenAid mixer, and I have used it and used it and used it, and I do appreciate it. Thanks again, Phyllis. So what I'm gonna do is just take my little bit softened butter and put it in my blender here. Put my paddle down and lock it. Now I have the paddle on. I don't have the whisk today. Let me turn it up where you can't see. There you go. I have the paddle on. And I'm gonna kind of let that go just a minute while I move my things here. Once that gets a little softened, I'm gonna add the sugar and cream that together. If you remember, you need your flat spatula because we're gonna have to scrape these sides. So go ahead and scrape that butter down. I just wipe it on my beater because, you know, we're going to put the beater right back in there. So I have a cup and a third of just white granulated sugar. Lock it down because you don't want it to go too far. Now I've got it kind of low. I'm just going to blend it in, then we'll turn it up and smooth it out. Right, so what I'm going to do is turn it down. I'm going to go ahead and add one egg. And be sure that you don't get your shells in there. So I try to be a little careful. I'll let that bleed in just a second and it's getting so smooth. Go ahead and add your second egg. Again, be, be careful with those shells. All right, I'm gonna let that blend for just a minute and we'll be right back. Okay, so I wanna turn this off. All right, so what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna start adding the flour, but we're gonna add the flour really slow. So while it's off, I'm just gonna add, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a cup. Now that is uh, two and a fourth cups of flour. So I just added maybe a quarter, maybe a little bit more. And I'm just gonna turn it on low. And then I have a cup of just regular milk. You can add 2%, you can add um, whatever milk you want. And I'm just gonna add just a little, just to kind of help blend that flour in. All right, and that's all there is to mixing it. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this beater off. Just gonna scrape it in here. Gotta try it. All right, let's see what it looks like on the inside. Move that mixer out of the way. And here you go. So with my flat spatula, I'm just gonna scrape these sides and the bottom and just stir it like this. Just kind of fold it over. Now what I had, like I said, I had this one kind of a thick pan. Believe it or not, I don't have two cake pans. So I'm gonna make one and then what we're gonna do is cut it in half like long ways like this. And we're gonna pour that icing over it. So I'm gonna bake it a little bit slower, but normally this would be at 350 for about 25 minutes if you have two pans. So I'm just gonna pour this in. And then we'll shake it, kind of smooth it out. And then to get some of the air bubbles out, you just slam it on the counter. That kind of levels it a little bit better and it also gets some of those air bubbles out. And I already sprayed my pan with the Pam uh, pan spray. So it's ready to go in the oven. I'll meet you at the oven. All right, like I said, my oven is preheated. It's at 350, but I turned it down to 325 because my cake is so thick. We'll put it in and I'm gonna come back in 20 minutes and check it. All right, here we go to take it out of the oven. Look how beautiful that is. Take a toothpick. Comes out clean so we know it's ready to go. Hi, welcome to the counter. Okay. Took my cake out. I'm gonna let it cool for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then because it's so thick, I'm gonna cut it into two going this way. <laughs> if you could say it cross this way and make a two layer cake. May not be very pretty when I cut it cause I can't cut straight, but we're gonna cover it with some hard, uh, with some chocolate and uh, it's gonna be wonderfully delicious. So we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll get our um, cake cut so it'll be nice and cool. And then we'll start on our chocolate icing. All right, so I've got my eye on about a medium. Put it in my stick butter and let this melt. And be sure when you um, make this icing that you use a pretty thick bottom pan so that it doesn't burn. Don't get anything thin. You want a heavy duty pan. So I've already got my four tablespoons of butter and then we got it on a medium heat. Three cups of sugar. And I put a half a cup of just regular milk. Make sure you get in these little corners of these, this pan or that sugar will burn. And you see it, the sugar's kind of melting down. And you don't want to walk away very far because you want this to, you don't want it to stick and burn. All right, so while that butter's still melting, 
I'm gonna go ahead. If you have a sifter, I would probably recommend using a sifter on this cocoa because you know it has these little. It will have um, these hard little sections in there, and they don't always get broke up. So we're gonna put we're gonna do four and see what that looks like. We may go ahead and do six. So that's two tablespoons. I'm gonna stop for just a second because I want to go ahead and stir this. I don't want. Like I said, I don't want it to sit too long. And I want to try to get some of this cocoa mixed in. Okay. I think four is going to be plenty. So what I do, I just kind of do this and then Use my finger, you can use a side if you want to, and just make sure that it's level. And go ahead and stir this in. And what I'm gonna do is bring it to a boil on a medium heat and let it cook for a couple of minutes, or at least a minute to Make sure everything's melted in and make sure everything, they don't have any of that hard sugar. Ooh, butter's almost gone. The reason why I'm bringing it to a boil, I let it boil for just a minute is make sure that, like I said, that sugar is not stuck to the bottom and make sure that it's not, um, still granulated. I want it to be melted. All right, I'm going to come back in just a minute when this comes to a boil. All right, if you could see these bubbles coming up on the sides here, starting to boil. So when it's doing that, I'm just making sure it's not sticking to the bottom or the sides and going around, making sure it's not getting lumpy of any kind. All right, so there's a good boil. I'm gonna turn my timer on for about a minute and then I'm gonna take it off. All right, I'm gonna come back when we get moved to the counter because this will be done in here in just a few seconds. All right, welcome to the counter. Here's my chocolate. I was just kind of doing a little test, but I feel like it's starting to set up on my edges. So, bottom layer, oh, did you just see my spoon go down in there? It just completely went down in that chocolate. Hmm. Okay, so it'll stay in the chocolate because it's too hot to take out. So, <laughs> we'll just have to figure out, we'll get another spoon because that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of dip it because I didn't want to pour it all over the side of my pot, but we may have to because it's getting setting up already. But who knew we were gonna drop a spoon in the cake? I mean, in the icing. Now, like I said, I had, um, already poked some holes in this and this cake will soak this up all right now let's hope this one it has a thing on the end so hopefully it won't go down in the icing so here's my top remember I just kind of cut it and move the top over here so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put my hand like this flip the plate over look at that and you're just gonna set it right down on top. Oh, look at the accident. Mmm. Actually, it's happened in the kitchen. All right, so what I did, let's take a butter knife, you can take a sharp knife. And I just went through here. And I just poked holes like this. So that it would go into the cake 
And that way, when you can bite into the cake, you'll get some chocolate, a little piece everywhere. You can poke as many or as little as you want. All right. Ooh. And I'm gonna kind of pour this around now that I'm done with that bottom layer. But I gotta go easy because my plate's not that much bigger than my cake, so I don't want it to go all over my counter. But what my grandmother used to do, I think I told you earlier, is she would pour some in a saucer for my brother. I know it still looks kind of runny, but it's fine because it's still hot. But trust me, it's starting to, it's starting to set up in the bottom and on the edges. And just go, whoops, uh-oh, I got a, I got some running off on the side. And I'm just gonna kind of spread it with a spoon. As you can see, it's dripping around. I see some on the camera that's dripping. I needed a bigger plate is what I needed. It's not very pretty. I apologize for it not being very pretty, but it's not gonna be very pretty when I eat it anyway. And I already poured a little bit in this saucer. And look how thick it's already gotten in this saucer. Because the saucer's cool. Since it's already setting up, I just kinda go around a little bit. In my mind, this was a lot prettier. <laughs> but I should have let it cool a little bit more first, I guess, before I poured it. But it's all right. You know why? Because it's gonna be delicious. It's already hard enough on top of the cake here. All right, I'm gonna pour some of this in this, in this saucer. All right, I'm gonna let this cool and then we'll come back and it'll be hard and we'll cut a little piece. All right, welcome to the counter. My cake is done and it's gotten pretty hard. And I can see in the camera that I did miss a few pieces. Let's turn that around so it looks a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry. So I did make a big mess on my plate. I should have waited till it got a little bit cooler before I poured. So let's lower the camera down and let's cut it and see what it looks like. All right, so I got my saucer. Now I'm just gonna cut a small piece. But look how, did you see, just see how even that cut? Look at that. I'm just cutting a small one. It's still a little warm, but I can't wait. And see where we poke the holes in the cake? Some of that icy went in. If you can see like here and down in here, there's some icing that's soaked in. Don't ever leave a little piece of cake behind. All right, look at that. That's gonna be so good, I can't wait. Like I said, it's still kind of warm, so it's not good hard yet, but it, it's pretty it's pretty firm. Mm-hmm. You would think with three cups of sugar, the icing would be really sweet, but because the cake doesn't have a lot of icing, I mean, because the cake doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, it kind of balances out, so it's really great. So one more time. Let me turn it where you can see better. <gasps> Look at that. Mm. That's good. The cake is really moist. It's just all oh, just melts in your mouth. So let's take one more look at this cake after I cut it. Look at that. Look at that. You guys can do this. It is not hard to do. 
Now look, I have in the in my description down below, you're gonna see some affiliate links. And there's a couple of affiliate links for books. They're low content books. So what it is, is um, one is a gratitude book. So you can write down your daily gratitudes every day, like what you're grateful for. I'm grateful for, this cake come out really nice. <laughs> That's one of my grateful things for today. But, um, but to be seriously, there is also a cookbook in there that you can write down recipes, like your family's recipes, because I don't have a lot of my mother's recipes, my grandmother's recipes. I'm having to go back and try to find um, some online that are very similar. But I have to get some from my sister, Phyllis. Thank you again, Phyllis. You know, I need you, girl. You're there for me all the time. So... What I'm doing is trying to recreate all these recipes from my, my mom and my grandmothers and use authentic recipes. And this is why I'm showing you this cake recipe. You don't see this very often anymore. So be sure to, to go ahead down there and click those links, get you one of those books so we can write down all these recipes that I'm giving you until so you can have your own book of wonderful Southern recipes. All right, well, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those notification bell so that you can get notified of all the videos that we're doing because we're do a video every Tuesday and right now I'm doing every Thursday as well. All right, thank y'all again for watching. Don't forget to go down in that description and hit those uh, links for the recipes gonna be down there. And then there'll be some supply lists down on Amazon that you can purchase those uh, supplies to make the cake. And then the recipe book and the gratitude book. Go ahead and buy those too so that you can write down every day what you're grateful for. And you can also write down these recipes and keep them in a safe place for you. Thank y'all again. Y'all have a great day.